What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're not already subscribed, you already know the deal. Hit the subscribe button down below. So in my last video, I put a poll up asking what you guys wanna see next. A lot of you guys voted on a story time, so here we go. So as you can see by the title, this is about the time where I caught my boyfriend cheating on me. And no, it's not the boyfriend of right now. <laughs> We're good, but it's an ex-boyfriend. And let me just say that he is trifling. So I'm gonna just jump into it. So me and this boy were together for about almost four years or four years. And you know, things were okay. Things were good in the beginning, but you know, once you reach a certain point, sometimes it can just go downhill. I know some of you girls know what I'm talking about. So whatever, um, he just started acting shady, like real, real shady. Like he started working night shifts at his job and then he wouldn't really make any time for me and we just lived honestly like 15 minutes away from each other by the bus so there was no way we could not see each other but he was acting really shady saying yeah I have work can't see you blah 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 this and that and that and that and he wouldn't answer my phone calls he would ignore me not even call me back so I think it was one week where he did like a lot of night shifts and literally I was calling him, texting him, calling him, texting him and he didn't return any, any of my calls and I'm like, what the heck, like what's wrong with this dude? So I had to run up on him in his house, um, he had a roommate as well and which was even more embarrassing but he had a roommate and um, I knocked on the door and luckily that time he was sleeping, he was sleeping so I'm just like why aren't you answering my calls or my texts or anything? He's like, I'm sorry, I'm just tired, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I don't care if you're tired. Like, we're in a relationship. You're supposed to communicate, do something. Like, you're not even answering my calls. So that right there was like red flags, ding, 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 ding. But I didn't have no proof. And I wasn't really going to give up a long relationship like that if I didn't have no proof or anything. But I was just starting to get really sketched out and like, I thought he was acting really sketchy so you know time passes by he's still kind of doing the same thing but we still like seeing each other here and there and he would like text me and call me and stuff but he was still acting shady and he was still working at night shift so one day I was like um called him I'm like okay hey, I'm gonna come over because that's just what we did because we live so close we just be like okay I'm coming okay I'm coming and because we're, we're in a relationship like that's just what you do so i was like okay i'm gonna come over today blah 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 he's like oh no i have work and from that i knew he was lying because i remember him saying he didn't have work that day or whatever and he's just like yeah they ended up calling calling me in i'm like okay so whatever i took his word for it because obviously i trusted him to a certain extent right so literally he was just acting shady 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 and like we we were going through some bad like ish in our relationship that i should have even broken up with him before that like the relationship should have ended and i feel like what's coming next is god showing me like i need to leave this relationship and this is the final shot from you and you're you're washing your hands clean and you're done and let me tell you guys this like with his phone he was so like it's my phone it's my phone like don't touch my phone blah, blah 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 like you know how people are with the phone like i don't even want to go through his messages like say if i want to see the time or something like that and he just act like freaking out about his phone so honestly if a dude is like that or if anybody's like that a girl is like that they are really really hiding something because it's not even like you necessarily want to go through their phone like say if you want to look at the time or to just look up something on the internet like and they're moving like that Marks, red flags so anyways, one day I decided to go over his house just to peep his phone. Like, that's the only reason why I went over to his house because I just had, like, a gut feeling. Like, my intuition was just like, whew. So, I uh, went over to his house and we were just chilling and I'm, like, waiting to see when he puts in his password because I didn't know his password, obviously. And so I just seen where he put his password in on his phone. Like, I didn't see the numbers or anything, but I seen where his hand went. So I waited until he went to sleep and I went through his phone. At first I couldn't get the password straight away and I'm like, oh my God, I only have a certain amount of chances and like I need this info, like I need to know. So I ended up getting it luckily and like I was literally like, my heart was beating so fast, 
dripping in sweat and I was just getting so hot because he kept moving I'm like oh my gosh if he finds out that I have his phone like it's gonna be a problem and I'm not gonna be able to see what I need to see and then I won't be able to leave this relationship so anyways I got through to his phone he was knocked out and first thing I do was go through his pictures what I seen in his pictures I'm like ew he had pom pom pictures he had pink ones brown ones black ones yellow ones all different kinds hairy ones shaved ones i'm like are you serious like really ew <laughs> he had butts in his phone i'm just like who's sending you this shit like really all right that was that i seen that and i was like already i'm like disgusting and then i went through his bbm because at that time bbm was popping so everybody had bbm they had blackberry so I went through his phone, through his messages. All I see was bear yell, bear yell on his phone. I'm like, really, really? I'm just like this nigga. So um, most of the conversations, honestly, he was just saying, oh, I want to meet you. I want to see you, I want to see this. When are we going to chill? When are we going to do this and that and that? And I was like, why is this guy acting so thirsty? Because the girls weren't even like on him like that. He was on the girls. I'm like... You have a girl like why are you why are you being on these girls so there's this one conversation that really stuck out the most to me because this is the person who we was talking to like a lot a lot a lot um the conversation was endless so i couldn't even imagine how long it went on for so this girl her name was masita and i looked at her um display picture and like i'm not really a person to sh throw shade at somebody like that or like at a girl or anything like that but like I was like really like this is what you're like throwing our relationship away for it like this girl like she wasn't like all that or anything I was just like wow <laughs> like I was like mind blown for real so anyways I went through the conversation and he was just like yeah you're my baby um baby this baby that hearts kisses and I was just like really I was like and the girl was saying all this back and he was like yeah maybe one day you can be my girl and he was saying all these sexual things to her like one day i'm gonna do this to you you, you can do this to me and like he just saying like all these fantasies that he he um wanted i guess and that he wasn't getting with me I, that's what i was saying because i never heard any of this before he would just say some nasty ass like it was disgusting i literally said all those conversations to me just in case he tries to come at me sideways i have the receipts here buddy so there's no you can't say anything to me so there was one part in this conversation that really stuck out to me so remember how i said that one time i wanted to go over to his house and he's like no i have work no nope. this boy brought the girl over to his house and the crazy part about it is that he has a roommate right so while that roommate was there, he brought the girl to his house. And the roommate also has a girl that lives there as well. So he brought the extra, he brought that next girl to the house where I lay my head at sometimes. And I was just like, ill. Like, I was just so disgusted. And um, she was pretty much there from the evening all the way till like, like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. type thing. And when she got home, she's like, look what you did to my ass or something like that. If I could pull up the conversation, I would, but I'm too lazy to find it. I still have it on my email. But he's like, she's like, look what you did to my ass. And he was like, I didn't do that to your ass or whatever, some shit like that. So from then, I'm like, what could you have done to her ass? You either were, you either were doing some shit like that or you were, you slapped it, you pinched it, you bit it, you did something to her butt. And it was funny because when one of the pictures that was in his phone, it had a picture of a girl's ass and there was like a welt on it. So I don't know what kind of kinky-ish was going on, but she had a welt on her butt and he did that. I didn't know what he did. I didn't know if they had sex. I didn't know, I didn't know anything, to be honest. So to me, that was all the proof I needed and like, I wasn't even sad or anything that was a crazy part and I guess it's because I just knew that the relationship just had to end and that, that was like my final straw so I waited till the morning came like it was like 6 a.m. or something and then I just tapped him put his phone right beside him I'm like okay and then I left like I'm not really the type of girl to like create a whole type of scene and everything like that like that's not me at all like I just stay quiet and that's it 
I'll just kill you with my silence. So I just left the house and he ended up like walking all the way to my house, which was like 45 minutes the next day and trying to explain himself. But I'm like, I'm sorry. Like I have the receipts. There's nothing you can do. I did ask him about um, the whole ass situation. I'm like, did you have sex with this girl? Did you do this or whatever, whatever? And he was just, he was denying it. He's like, no, I didn't do that. He's like, I don't even know what you're talking about. What are you talking about? This and that. I'm like, it's in your phone. Like, I'm like, look at your message. She said you did something to her ass. What did you do? And he was just like, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, I didn't do anything. I didn't have sex with her. I didn't do this. I didn't do that. <sighs> I was just like, okay. Like, I can't get anything out of you. There's nothing I can say for you to even admit it. So yeah so yeah he denied it and even to this day he still denies it so it is what it is um after that we were done it was over and that was that so i didn't physically um see him cheating on me but i got the proof and the proof was in the phone and if you guys know what goes on in people's phones you guys know that all the receipts are in here in this little piece of bone okay so yeah all I'm saying is that watch out who you're dating, um, watch the people that you bring into your life because some people are just have really bad intentions or just do some effed up shit and yeah, like guy or girl, you just gotta watch yourself. So anyways, that is my story time on when I caught my boyfriend, well my ex-boyfriend cheating on me. Um, it is what it is, lesson learned, so yeah. I will see you guys all in my next video. If you guys enjoyed this story time, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Deuces. Well, today we're going to do a fun video. This is the Boyfriend Does My Voiceover Challenge. Hi guys, it's Shanice. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial for girls trying to hit the club or go out with your man on a date or something. What I have right now on my face is primer and I'm just going to rub it in. It's kind of like the beginning stages of... I do my makeup, you know, you gotta moisturize your face. You don't wanna do makeup on a dry ass face. I try to kinda get foundation everywhere. I freaking love foundation, you know, you cannot have enough foundation.